بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته my dear brother sister um, welcome to a series of videos based on du'as from the Quran inshallah today we'll be looking at the du'a of Sulaiman alayhi salatu wasalam as mentioned in surah al-naml which is surah 27 verse number 19 I'll recite the verse first inshallah and then we will unpack the meaning of this du'a أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم فتبسم ضاحكا من قولها وقال رب أوزعني أن أشكر نعمتك التي أنعمت علي التي أنعمت علي وعلى والدي وأن أعمل صالحا ترضاه وأدخلني برحمتك في عبادك الصالحين This is the dua uttered by the great prophet and king Sulaiman alayhi salatu wasalam. And it's a very touching incident of a, a king and a prophet who's marching with his army and he has everything at his service. He has the entire animal kingdom, as we know, marching with him. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given him also the special privilege of, you know, getting the wind to go in any direction that he wants. Um, and he has multiple blessings. And here he overhears the complaint of an ant, which realizes that um, Sulaiman and his army are going to trample over them, so they better move out their way. So the ant goes and complains to the rest of the ant community, saying, Watch out, go into your dens, go into your uh, homes, or else Sulaiman and his army will trample over you and they will have no clue. Um, of course, Sulaiman has the special gift of being able to interpret these words. And then he makes this dua, he smiles broadly and he makes this dua saying, Rabbi awzi'ani that my Lord inspire me. Rabbi awzi'ani an ashkura ni'mataka allati an'amta alayhi. Inspire me to be constantly grateful for the blessings which you have bestowed upon me. Now, Sulaiman alayhi salatu wasalam doesn't forget that actually these blessings came through a medium and um, that medium was his parents because he inherited the kingdom of his father Dawud alayhi salatu wasalam. And so he says, Alati an'amta alayya wa ala waliday. The blessings which you have uh, given to me and also to my parents. Wa an a'amala salihan tardah. And inspire me to do good actions, righteous actions, which attain your pleasure. Wa adkhilni bi rahmatika fi ibadika salihin. And admit me within the folds of your righteous servants. Uh, and so what we find is a profound uh, expression of humility on the part of Sulaiman alayhi salatu wasalam. He is not deluded by his vast kingdom. And neither is he so up there that he forgets humility, that he can pay attention to this tiny creature, to this tiny ant. He can actually give him time and listen to his complaint and of course remove harm from coming uh, to the way of the ant. And so we, we look at this profound prophet, this king, who has all of these privileges, yet has that humility. And that's something that we can learn from, that when we come to our du'as, we should come to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in a state of humility. That's number one. At tawadu is very important. Tawadu meaning the state of humility, modesty. Um, and that's, so that's number one. Number two is to remember the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to acknowledge them before making a request and before making a du'a. Um, and so Sulaiman acknowledges the many privileges he has. And thirdly, he references his father and, and his mother in that they were the uh, people who received Allah's blessings first. And the reason for that is because whenever Allah blesses any parent, he also blesses the child directly or indirectly, meaning quite often 
whatever blessings the, the parents enjoy, that will be ultimately passed on to the child who inherit the estate of our parents. And Sulaiman didn't forget the source of his blessings. And he further asks Allah to grant him uh, the ability to do righteous actions. And that's something we can ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala constantly for. Allah inspire me to do the things that attain your pleasure, things that actually you are pleased with. Right? And then number four, he says, and finally admit me into the ranks of your pious servant. And we can also um, make dua in similar vein. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the ability to remain constantly grateful, to ask Allah to inspire us towards righteous deeds, and that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala admits us within the ranks of his pious servants. Ameen.